All right, g'day YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Now I have this lovely, one of my favorite trees in my collection, this big black pine of mine. I've shown you this before, repotting it. Now it's just come along really well. So repotting season, I've repotted this and I have a video on it um, of being repotted. And now it's just full of, full of candles um, and it's ready to be decandled. So this will be quite a time consuming process, but it's beautiful. Um, it's actually pretty uniform. There's a few long areas here and there, but most of the candles are pretty uniform in the same size, pretty pretty much, which is a good sign. That's what I'm trying to achieve. I want to get them smaller and smaller, but that will take a bit more time. Maybe in five years' time, these will have very, very small candles coming out because um, of the more we develop. So I'm just going to go through it again, this tree, and decandle it. I might actually reduce areas that I think are Needing to, needing to be reduced. Maybe I've got to eliminate some branches this time around, but um, it's, all, it's, all, it's all possible, it's all doable. Um, but you can see it's a bit of a mess. There's so much candles, you lost the structure of a tree, uh, but you can, you can kind of make it out. It's still, still a beautiful tree. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, I think the table angle is a bit wrong, but that's okay, we'll work on that. But doing really well after the repotting, you would have seen me repot it, um, and now it's time to get stuck into it with decandling season. So I pretty much with decandling, I pretty much, as you've seen with my other videos, um, which would have been loaded up before this one, I start at the top, I work my way down, and pretty much cut all the candles off. So I come in, cut, cut. See how they're much smaller, these guys, they're so small, they're much nicer. Cut, 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 oops, missed it, cut. I try and needle pluck these guys at the same time though, because there's a lot of it. Anything, anything that's a bit yellow I might take off as well. There are a few, but nothing too bad, nothing too major. It's so, got so much needles. It's be wonderful. Lots of candles, lots of needles, it means smaller growth, smaller buds. So I pretty much worked through it all. This is all to do with building out, building out more buds, more branching, and smaller, smaller growth, smaller needles. Um, the more, think about it, the more buds you have, the more candles you have, um, the smaller the needles will be. So because the tree's got to feed this, all this amount of foliage, it's going to be smaller and smaller over time. And all we're doing now by decandling is I take one off because I want two to grow in its place. Next year, take those two off, about four to grow in its place, then eight, and then 16, and on and on and on it goes. So that's pretty much why we do what we do. If, if you want to know the simple, that's my simple, simple answer. I'm not a horticulturalist or scientist or anything, just a very simple answer of why we do what we do. It's quite logical if you think about it. The more foliage you have, the more the tree's got to feed all that foliage. So not everything gets um, not everything gets the same. I mean, not everything gets a huge amount of food. It's got to balance it out. So that's my thinking, and I think it makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not going to go show you, hold the camera the whole time, so you won't have to see me do this. But um, I might do a bit of a time lapse, and then I'll just show you the final result. Um, again, lovely tree. Very happy with how it's going, progressing. Needs um, a lot more, a few more years of really good work, of, like this kind of work, um, to get it ready for a show, I think, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's not far off. If we have a good couple of years of growth and decandling and, you know, the bud selection and so on, this tree, you know, I keep wiring it, I keep looking at good, you know, a couple of years will be in a show. So that's always my goal, is having trees show ready. Because you know, once, you, once it's ready for a show, you know it's achieved a certain level of uh, beauty. Maybe it's only in your eyes, but <laughs> at least it's the start. The reason I start at the top is because I'm doing all this needle plucking as well. Um, the needles are falling, I'm just going to create a mess. So if I start at the top, I don't have to clean twice. <laughs> That's pretty much the answer. So all the stuff that's falling down, I'll clean once. When I get down to it, if that makes sense. Yeah. 
So I'm done just, just this area here. Not sure what it looks like on the camera, but it should be a lot thinner, a lot more interesting, a um, lot smaller, not so messy. Um, yeah, so just I can really tell I need to rewire certain areas already, bend certain, wire, bend certain branches down already. So it's good to see. It's good to actually see the tree how it comes. So let me just do a bit more. And then I'll put on time lapse. So nothing unusual. It's pretty stock standard stuff that I'm doing. Uh, work pretty quickly as fast as you can. I'm losing daylight here, but I should be able to get it done before the sun sets. Again, this is in summer in Melbourne, December. Um, but I'm doing this before Christmas ish. So. That's where I time my pines. Could be different in your areas. But tomorrow is supposed to be 37 degrees Celsius, that is. So it's a nice hot one, so it's really starting to get warmed up. Kind of the top bit done. Top bit area is done. Maybe need a bit needle pluck of a few more in here. Uh, some some of the old candle, old old needles I got are easily pull out. But there you go. I'm going to do a time lapse now and see how the rest goes. All right, so when, what ended up happening is I couldn't finish it um, in time um, last weekend. So I had to come back the second weekend and re decandle the whole tree. Now, I have left all the needles on. I haven't gone and plucked. I should try and pluck as well. Some of the, what I'm planning to do, when you pluck, you're trying to even out the the, the abundance of needles in, in certain areas. So if an area has lots more needles, that means the tree's gonna feed that area much more so you should get, what happens is you get longer uh, or more growth in that area so what you want is even growth now to achieve even growth you got a needle pluck so that the branches have this about the same amount of needles on um, each branch so that's the trick um, but it's pretty hard to do <laughs> um, and it's time consuming so you need to try and do that so I can see in some some areas around here lots of needles lots of big ones as well so you know you should try and needle pluck in there there's also the good thing is this lower branch has quite a lot of growth which is really good it means it's getting lots of um, energy lots of uh, um, growth in that area so that's good news this branch has lots of nice growth um, just trying to show you areas that are a bit heavy so see this area is quite abundance so maybe i can pluck a little bit more pluck a little bit more of the longer older needles i leave the the newer ones um, same as this area has a bit the top is a bit sparse which is okay so i don't need to little pluck at the top which is unusual um, but it's very nice and small but needs a lot of work in that apex 
So what I like to do then is I'll leave this tree until I have some time in summer, which is coming. Um, you know, some summer, summer holidays in Christmas time. Um, I get a few days off here and there. So what I'd like to do is sit there and pretty much rewire or fix the wire or take off wire, put, reapply wire, things like that. But it's a improvement process. And in summer is the chance, the time I can do that or the time I have available to do that. So you know how it's time consuming to wire. So you really need to spend some time wiring um, trees. So that's the next phase of this tree. I will try and needle pluck just to thin it out a bit in certain areas. Um, but that's the reason why we needle pluck. So if I get down, I want to try and compress that apex still. It's still too high. It's still too much of a neck. So I think that's a bit of work in progress. Um, I'd like the tree to be about there. Imagine that top bit gone, but there's nothing in that area at the moment that will fill in that gap for now. So we just have to keep trying, keep trying to push back growth, see what happens, see what we can do in the future about trying to get reduce that top down a bit. It's a bit too much of a neck at the moment, but if the tree's about there, you can see how much different it is. Really looks good, but there's nothing in this area here to be able to build an apex just yet. So. We'll have to wait and see, see what develops, see how dream branches develop, and maybe we can twist them out. This is potentially a branch that can be moved around into here and remove that back bit, but that's a bit of a bit of a process there. I don't want to just jump into it. Maybe that will develop a bit more, a bit more um, foliage and look a bit better. But yeah, the dilemma is there at the moment. But anyway, nice project tree. Should be a beautiful tree in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. And some of the reasons why I did candle and the plans to do that. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you haven't to the channel and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. Okay, see you next time.